521, here's a heads up about some scams related to the coronavirus. If you're not careful, you could get taken. Karen Stiles has those information for you. There is no doubt that many of us are concerned about the coronavirus and we may be in search of information and ways to protect ourselves and others from getting sick. But although there are some reputable sources to help us, scammers are also using this high interest to trick us with malicious schemes or con people out of money. Here are some of the tactics that they are using. Some are posing as the World Health Organization online or via emails. They may try to convince us to click on links that contain malware or fish for our sensitive information. Others may pose as a bogus charity or business asking for donations to find a vaccine or cure. And some are also selling products that claim to protect or prevent us from getting sick, often at a significantly inflated price and with huge shipping costs. It is a good idea to be informed and to take preventative measures, but use caution before clicking on links or replying with personal information to an unsolicited email. Always check out a business or charity before making a donation. And do some research and shop around before purchasing products that may or may not protect you. Do not let a scammer or others scare or trick you into buying something that may not be needed or effective at an inflated price. For TMJ4 News Call for Action, I'm Karen Stiles.